Hey there, chalk pen friends. It is Meek and Maria, your independent chalk couture designer. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday night. Oh my goodness, I have been waiting to make our project tonight for a very long time. It's one of the very first things I saw when I saw this little guy. And um, in my head, I've been waiting for St. Patrick's Day to come around so we can take our little cute little gnome and turn him into a leprechaun. So we're actually using a transfer this evening that is retired, um, but it is part of the making, or the Mon Make It Monday, Make It Monday bundle, um, which is in the Making Maria VIP group. And I have to tell you, I posted it and many of you jumped on it right away. <laughs> so I have one left. So if you're interested in this transfer, um, you need to let me know ASAP because there's only one left but he is adorable and I really hope they bring him back in the um, like summertime celebrations catalog or something like him because he is the cutest most adorable little gnome that you're ever gonna see and um, what's nice about him is what we're gonna do with him tonight we've made him before I have yet to make him the way he's meant to be made he's meant to be a garden gnome but we made, if you remember a while back, we made him into Valentino, our cute little Valentine's Day gnome. And now we are going to turn him into a leprechaun. We're going to try anyway. Hopefully it's going to work. So hello there, Mr. Mike. Welcome to our chuck and party. Um, it is Monday. And on Monday, we do what's called Make It Monday. And on Mondays, I package together what I am making today. And it's in the Making Maria VIP group so that you can create it and or recreate it. Um, if you like what I make. So if you're not in the Making Maria VIP group, you want to be, you can comment, add me, or you can go right in your search bar on Facebook and type in Making Maria VIP group and request to join. Um, and that'll get you in the group and then you can see all the super fun things that we make. Hello, Linda, Linda, and Lori Baker, Baker, Lori. Um, Lori Baker, Baker, Lori, I just love your posts. <laughs> I giggle all day long looking at your posts. Linda, Linda, thank you so much for posting the soup recipe. Um, for those of you who know me, I love to make soup. And uh, I uh, had made a soup last week when we got together to do our truck in afternoon and the ladies wanted the recipe. So I put that out there and then Linda, Linda reciprocated. Thank you so much with a lovely soup recipe, which I'm going to make next week. So thank you, thank you. All right, so let's get to chalking. I'm making Maria. I'm an independent chalk couture designer, and all that means is I get to play with an amazing product and have lots and lots of fun. Um, I love to make things. I love to create things, and this product makes it so crazy easy and crazy simple to do. It's not even funny. It takes someone like me, who is not artistic, has no true artist skills whatsoever, and I have the opportunity to make something beautiful that is easy to do, and every single time I pull that transfer back, I'm still like, wow. It just never ever gets old. Um, so we're gonna do a couple things tonight. We're gonna take our garden gnome and we're gonna turn him into a leprechaun. But we are also going to try our new, and I just had it here, where did I put it? We're gonna try our new board scraper. So I, I'm gonna be honest, I, you know, always am. <laughs> to, to a fault with you guys. Um, this is one of the new tools that came in the catalog. I'll show it to you. It's called the board scraper and it's, meant to help you get your chalk off of your surfaces. So for those of you who are new, please say hi. Tell us where, you're, where you are watching us from. We have people that watch from all over the country. And, um, oh, and I, hang on, I need to say hi to him. Hello, Miss Cheryl. Terry is here from Texas. Linda Squared is here. Welcome, everybody. Um, so Chalk Couture is an amazing product. And what's nice about it is it is chalk, but it's not kid chalk, right? It's not like the stuff our kids use. It's a chalk paste that dries hard. It is not going to go anywhere unless you want it to. And it takes a small amount of effort. And I mean small, but it does take a little bit of effort to remove it when you want to. So, hence our new tool that I have never tried. And I'm, as I've said, this is one of those that I'm like, really? All I gotta do is get it wet and wash it off with a board eraser, which is another tool that we have to wash it off. But I've seen some videos of people using this bad boy and he actually looks like I could eat my words. <laughs> so we're gonna try him today and see. 
Am I going to eat my words? Is this crazy little contraption, you know, hold up its weight? So first thing I do is I'm going to, oh, okay, let's back up. This is the Sylvie board. It's a beautiful, beautiful white chalkboard. So it is a chalkboard. It's just a white background, which is one of those things I love because I do tend to prefer pieces in my home that have a white background. But that's a personal preference. I have lots of black backgrounds in my home. Um, some people like the black, some people like the white, some people like to mix them up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray our Sylvie with water, get it wet. By getting it wet, what it does is it reconstitutes the chalk. So you just get it wet and supposedly, all I have to do is take this fun, <laughs> my little sprayer thing is making farting noises. <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> was not me promise okay so supposedly I'll, oh okay all right that's a horrible noise though that's a little bit too much like fingernails on a chalkboard right <laughs> get it but it is removing it pretty easily I mean okay it's a lot easier than rubbing it off Okay, so what you'll see is on my beautiful white chalkboard, I have what's called shadowing. Oops, I got new baby white stuff. I don't know if you guys can, how well you guys can see it, but the shadowing is the pigment from the chalk is still on my board. So all this gunk, I'm just gonna wipe it right off. It's just chalk, okay? So I do have pigment on my board. However, that's where the board eraser comes in. So you just get your board eraser wet, and it's gonna, see, takes that pigment right off. Okay, all right, all right, I take everything back I said about him. He actually works really nice. <laughs> I hate it when I eat my words, which happens to me often. I know you're all shocked and surprised, right? <laughs> okay, so our board is all clean, and just like that, like magic, look, I have no more, I'm to get you a good angle, I have no more shadowing, I have no more pigment left on my board. It's like a brand new chalkboard. And that's really the premise behind the company is, originally it was anyway, that you would have one nice chalkboard and you would wash it off and change it seasonally. I have found that that's not what people do. People like to make something and not remove it. Um, but the beauty of the transfers that we use is they're reusable. So once you own a transfer, you can keep washing it off because you can keep making it. And it, it gives you that opportunity to feed your soul, right? And to continue to make things and have fun with the product, um, but yet not have five million chalkboards in your home. So that it just gives you that one little spot where you can get a little crazy. And then if you don't like it anymore, you grow tired of it or the season passes, you wash it off. So today we are using a transfer called no. Oh, wow, that is like so creative. It's name. It says there's no place like gnome and it has this adorable gnome on it. So he is several pieces. So we're going to do a bunch of layering tonight. And he has this adorable little mushroom. He's meant to be made as a garden gnome. And I posted that picture of him in the VIP group so you can see him the way he was designed to be made. We have yet to make him that way. We made him into Valentino, if you remember, we made him into a Valentine gnome and he was holding balloons that were hearts that had conver the conversation hearts on him. He was adorable. He is, in fact, he is still on my mantle in my living room, our family room, because I love him so much. I'm not taking him anywhere. He is going to stay there because he's so stinking cute. So we're not going to use the there's no place like home gnome piece, but we are going to use him. And what we're going to do is we're gonna make him in the greens, several different greens and a little bit of gold. And then we're gonna put a pot of gold next to him. Oh, where did I get a pot of gold from? Well, I've been waiting patiently for our new transfers to come in. And for those of you who have the vintage truck, the vintage truck has a new add-on for spring. And that add-on has a pot of gold, conveniently. It's this little, it's not the whole pot, so we're gonna have to just use part of it. Um, but it has a very cute little pot of gold and it has this leprechaun that is hanging out of the back of the truck. So this is meant to be the bed of the vintage truck. We're making this transfer this week. I'm not sure yet which day, but we're making it this week. Um, but we're gonna use this little pot of gold today. 
And then the other thing that I've been debating about is the current spring truck add-on has a bunch of fun little shamrocks. So we could put him in like a little field of shamrocks, have him standing there with his little pot of gold. That's kind of where we're going with him. But he's a lot of very fun little pieces. And what's nice about these transfers is they are numbered in the corners. So they tell you, there's no guessing, which one goes first, which one goes second. It, it very clearly tells you. So we're not gonna use our mushroom. We'll save that for when we make this guy into his garden gnome, which will be more towards summer. But for now, we're going to make him in all of his little adorableness. And I wanna use a bunch of different greens. When we get to his hat, we're gonna do, we're doing a lot of things tonight. Um, we're gonna use a pattern transfer and kind of give him some texture to his hat a little bit. So I think for our greens, so we have meadow, which is kind of your standard Kelly green color. We have sage, which is kind of a light, super pale green. This is the new citrus splash, which is a very bright green. We haven't used this one yet. Um, he's a little yellow green for me to be a leprechaun, so we probably won't use that one. Um, we have pesto, which is a deep dark green, and we have eucalyptus. We also have rainforest, which is an emerald green. When it comes to greens, there is no shortage of options for colors. I want to make his little boots gold shimmer. So we're going to make his little boots gold shimmer. We'll make his boots and his belt gold shimmer. We're going to make his face peachy keen. So it's a fleshy color. So we'll make his face peachy keen. And we'll make his little ears peachy keen. So this part we're going to make peachy keen. His little boots we're going to make gold. And then we just need to figure out what color we're going to make his cute little jacket. And I think for his cute little jacket, we're going to go, um, actually, we're going to go light green. We'll do his cute little jacket in sage, but we'll do his pants and his little, well, that's his belt. His belt's got to be gold. We'll make, should we make his pants the lighter color or the darker color? We could go these two. I'm just worried this light green is too light. It'd be pretty though. It'd be very springy. Eucalyptus is way wrong. Hey, Kathy Kay. Welcome to our chucking party. Hey, Amanda. Welcome, welcome. Lori Shavlik. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Christine's here from Michigan. Hey, Cheryl. Welcome, everybody. We're making our cute little uh, leprechaun guy. So, he's fun. We're just, we're just talking colors. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my transfer off of its backer sheet. I need this, so I just set it aside. When I'm all done, I'm going to put it back on the backer sheet. Now I'm going to set him here, but then we're going to keep talking. Because if we're going to put him in his little field of shamrocks, we want to think this through, right? So you can put a bunch of little shamrocks down here so it looks like he's kind of standing in the shamrocks. Pants dark if you're going to do gold shoes. Thank you, Amanda. So if we're going to do a bunch of shamrocks and we need his pot of gold, let's cut out his little pot of gold. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just figuring out my placement on my board. So I make sure I have enough room to do the things that I want to do. Um, this transfer also says leprechaun wishes. So if we can make the words fit, we will make... We'll put that on here as well. Okay, so this is all the beautiful pieces to the spring, new spring add-on. I need to get to this one. Get you here. So I need to cut this out. So our transfers have cut lines, so you can see it's very easy on how to cut them out. Truly really could not be easier to do. Um, but the so just so you know, if you're ever going to use a transfer and not cut it out, the cut lines are silk screens. So if you chalk over them, you will see the chalk line. Um, a couple of the transfers we've used like subway art, but they weren't really meant originally. They weren't meant to be cut apart. So you just want to be conscious of that when you do that. So we've got our little pot of gold that's going to sit next to him. And then I think we're going to cut out the leprechaun wishes. Um... What's nice about this transfer is follow the bunny. He has the chocolate, and then there's this adorable little bunny that sits in the back of your truck. There's some beautiful flowers. 
it says Cupid Farms, loads of love, farm fresh flowers. And then it has these really nice little pieces here, which are meant to fit on the door of the vintage truck, which is really nice that they, the new one has that. The old one didn't have all that. This, it wasn't that thought out, I guess. And that's the one thing I would say is the company kind of finds as people make them, they learn what, well, what kind of pieces do people want? And they learn that we want to put something on the door of our vintage truck. So I don't know if Leprechaun Wishes is gonna fit or not. It looks, it appears like it's gonna fit. So we're gonna put our little, we'll put him over here. We'll put his pot of gold on the other side of him. Oh, he needs his hat. So when you're spacing a piece, make sure you keep you know, conscious of how tall is the biggest piece and how, because I've done that where I've like measured it to here, well, and then all of a sudden I've got this super big piece that goes on him. So we're gonna put our little field of shamrocks down here. I'm gonna put him kind of right over it. See how this works with his hat. And then maybe Leprechaun Wishes can fit over here. And then his pot of gold. That's the plan. Are you all with me? <laughs> Does that make sense to anybody other than Maria? Okay, hopefully this won't be as bad of a debacle as last night was, right? Because last night was highly entertaining. I think we should probably start with our little shamrock bed. So I'm going to put him here. I'm going to push down my shamrocks. And I think for our little shamrocks, we're gonna stick with just plain old Kelly Green. So I'm gonna open up my uh, meadow. Gorgeous color. So this is what chalk paste looks like. It's not paint, it is a paste. It's very thick, it's much thicker than paint. I'm going to grab a squeegee and I'm just gonna dip it right in my chalk paste and go right across, like so. Then I'm gonna pick up my transfer and move it over so that I can continue my little shamrock bed. Hopefully this isn't going to be the same debacle as last night's was with the whole buffalo plaid. <laughs> Although I did think once we were done, we did a pretty good job of hiding my colossal mess up. Okay, so Ooh, look at that. Look at how cute those little shamrocks are. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for a minute. Um, I'm just gonna set them sticky side up because I need to dry this before I lay it back down. Because I did use a lot of, I, I didn't squeegee off as much of my paste as I should have, so it's a little thicker than I normally like it to be. Hey Charlotte, welcome to our chucking party. So I'm just drying it off so that I can lay my transfer back down. Chalk dries super fast. And I'm gonna, I've got chalk where I don't want it, so I'm just gonna wash it off real quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay our adorable little shamrocks right back down. And of course, it's just that little bit of extra space. So, <laughs> of course, right? So, we're going to kinda go yeah. Just go up and over, like so. Again, we're just gonna dip. Just popping in to say a quick hi, and you're awesome. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, thank you, Charlotte. All right, so back to squeegeeing my shamrocks. So are you guys big uh, St. Patrick's Day celebrators? Um, it's never been a huge holiday in my household. Except for children, you know, always trying to trap the leprechaun, poor guy. I mean, we, we have had some very elaborate leprechaun traps. Um, for those of you who know my son Joseph, Joseph is very creative. And he can come up with quite the contraptions to, to catch that crazy little leprechaun. Okay, so again, I'm just going to pull it off. You see, I'm just making this little field of shamrocks right along the bottom. Then I'm going to keep drying it as we go. Because I just have this little space right here. To fill it in with left, with, fill it in with some shamrocks. So we're just making a little field of shamrocks so that our little gnome doesn't look like he's just floating in the middle of the space. Okay. Now, 
should I use this or should I just grab a shamrock and try to fit it in? I guess we'll use this. Oops, let's come down. Again, dip it in. Hey, Debbie from Texas. Welcome to our chicken party. We're making a little leprechaun. I don't know why my children would want to catch a leprechaun, quite honestly, because what would you do with it? <laughs> I mean, aren't they supposed to, like, have magic and all this kind of stuff? I don't know much about my, my leprechaun folklore, folklore, but I would think it'd be a bad thing to catch a leprechaun. It's just, it's kind of like catching Santa. Why do you want to catch Santa? Putting my shamrocks in my water bath. I didn't do so good on this last little swipe, so we might have to go back and fix it up a little bit. So I'm just washing the chalk paste off of the edge of my board that I got on the edge of my board. It's a beautiful thing about this craft is you just wash it off. Hey, Miss Debbie, 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 Debbie. Did you know, Debbie, that it's our friend anniversary today? Did you see that on your little feed? I saw that on my feed, and I could not believe we've only been friends for a year. I was a little shocked, I gotta say. <laughs> Not that it feels like forever, but it feels like, you know, we've been, we were meant to be friends, is what I mean. <laughs> All right, so we've got our cute little leprechaun bed on the bottom, and I am probably gonna go, it, it's not perfect, over here. So now we have our fun little friend, and we're gonna stick him right in here, and we're gonna actually end up covering up one of our little shamrocks because we don't want him floating right we want him kind of grounded to so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna wash this shamrock off you don't have to do this um, because the gold shimmer will cover up the shamrocks but by washing them off it doesn't give you the bump because of the layer of chalk so I'm just washing that little shamrock guy off so that now, drying my board, now I, he has like a perfect little, and I should do one more little guy. It does feel like we've always known each other. I actually feel that way about many of you. Um, but you know, I guess it, we're kind of reaching that point where I've been chalking for a while. It doesn't feel like it, which I think is the beauty of this product is it never really feels like I've been doing it for a long time, but kind of have, really. All right, so again, he's good to go now. And we're gonna, okay. So we have him where we want him. We've got his little hat. So we can put leprechaun wishes above him and we're gonna stick his little pot of gold again in the leprechaun, in the leprechaun, or the, leprechauns in the shamrocks all right so we're making his little boots gold we're making him amanda gave us the color amanda said dark light green on top and dark green on the bottom pants dark if you go with gold shoes okay so we're going to do that so the question is what green to use should we go i just don't know about we're going to open up this color i've not used this has anybody used Citrus Splash yet? It's so yellow. Oh, it's a very pretty color. But it's so yellow to me. But it is kind of leprechaun-y. Should we? Hey, Janine. Debbie, have you used this yet? I'm not going to do this over my project because I can see he has fluid in him and I don't want to splash it. Um, so this is a brand new chalk paste. It's our new color. And see how thick he is? This is because it's winter in Wisconsin, partially. So there's, you know, freezing things and they sat out on my porch. It doesn't hurt your chance or your chalk, but you do just need to kind of work it and get it back to life. I guess we could do this. This is a pretty color. It's very bright. And you all know how I feel about bright colors. <laughs> They're not my favorite thing. Um, I tend to go with the gray muted colors. I'm just giving him another drink, stirring him up. When you first open up chalk, sometimes you got to work them a little bit. Depends kind of on how much pigment is in them. 
and I don't like to use these little stir sticks for that. I do like to use, and that's what I should be doing, quite honestly, is I should be using my multi-purpose tool because this is what it's for. And that stir is much easier because it's not so flimsy. And I'm just stirring up my chalk paste. I don't know. We'll try it. What the heck, right? Go big or go home. So we're going to try our citrus splash. If we don't like the color, we wash it off and make them a different color. Okay. Putting all that back in there. You haven't used it yet? Well, here's our first try. Okay, so we're making his boots gold, his little jacket, citrus splash, and we're making his face and ears peachy keen, which is kind of flesh colored. Not my favorite color. I am not a fan of peachy keen, but it is really the only alternative for like a fleshy color. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I need my gold. You always start with, at least I try to start with my most liquid color. By starting with my most liquid color, um, it doesn't dry as fast. So I'm gonna do my, my gold is super liquidy, so I'm gonna do my gold first. The other thing I have to do with this is I have registration marks. Um, so that I can line up the rest of him. Okay, so I have our gold down. I'm going straight to, I'm going to do Peachy Keen next because Peachy Keen is again my more liquid of the two. So we're going to give him ears and a face. And now we're going to give him his little, this is really dry, I should add more water. But we're going to try it. I'm glad we did, we picked this color last just because he I should have added more water and worked him more. But I will do that after I don't have the live button hit anymore. Okay, so we have that. And then I'm actually going to open up a super dark green for my registration marks just so it will help me see them. I am going to wash them off so it doesn't matter what color they are. And now I just pull my transfer and we're going to have half a gnome. Okay, that's a good green. Oh, look at him. I love this guy. I absolutely, positively love this transfer, and I am so sad that they retired it. But I was smart before they retired it, and I ordered them so that I could do this, because I knew I wanted to do this, and I knew you guys were going to love them as much as I love them. And then, of course, I posted it, and you guys all jumped on it right away, so I only have one left. So you've got to message me. Whoever messages me first, we'll get him. Um, oh my gosh. I cannot wait to keep making him. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my citrus splash and just let, oh, we might use that more, but let it sit for a minute. I don't think we're done with citrus splash. Okay, so now I need to dry. We were talking today, Debbie, about seeing you guys again. Because it seems like it's been so long, and I mean, I was just there. Not that it's been that long. So for those of you who are new to our track and party, please say hi. Tell us where you're from. We are a very friendly group. We will welcome anybody. We're a little chit-chatty while we talk. So just feel like you can join right in our conversation. We've just all kind of gotten to know each other over time because we talk together. Okay, so now it's time to... He's all dry. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. We've got little gold boots and half a gnome. Now we're gonna give him his fun little hat. So again, I take off my transfer. I'm gonna use my registration marks to help me, because my transfer has registration marks in it, and that is gonna help me line him up where we want him. The registration marks on this transfer are extremely important because he has lots of pieces. I'm putting down, I'm not pushing too hard, but I do need to get my air out so I don't have a bleed. But now we're gonna get fancy with this hat. We are going to use a, a background pattern. So this is one of the transfers for the wooden houses, which are some of the workshops that are coming up. But I wanna give this pattern um, to his hat. Kathy, the shamrocks are from the vintage truck add-on for spring. They go in the back of the bed of the truck. So that's where I got the shamrocks from. 
the the one that's retiring, not the current, the brand new one. His pot of gold is going to be from the brand new one. Now this transfer is brand new. So I'm going to fuzz it because he's super sticky. Um, they have gone back to the old formula on stickiness. And let me tell you, we're back to whoosh. <laughs> These bad boys are sticky. All right. So I'm going to fuzz him, which all fuzzing means is I'm touching him to a towel that has lint on it. He's picking up the lint. And we're going to stick this right over his fun little hat. And we're going to put this back in the Kelly Green. And this, we're going to make his belt gold. We need our gold again. We're going to make his pants dark green. So his hat and his pants, we're making dark green. And then we're making his belt gold. We're going to do the gold first because, again, it's my more liquefied option. So it's going to give me more time. So you always start with your one that's the runniest and then move on back to, well, these are both kind of runny, so it doesn't really matter. And again, I just go right over. This is how I'm going to take my transfer. It's kind of, it's like masking. So I just go right over it and then I'm going to do his little pants. And when we turn, we, now he's going to really look more like a gnome. And then the next pieces are really just his facial pieces. You know, we give him uh, a cute little, okay, so I pull this off, stick this in my water bath. Once your transfers go in your water bath, they're no longer sticky once they're wet. Okay, this is sick. I love his hat. <laughs> I love this hat. Oh, okay, he needs a name. So the last, the other time when we made Valentino, we named him while we were chalking him. I was trying to think of a name for him. We might have to put him next to Valentino. Okay, so I'm just drying him off. Okay, I love his little hat. I'm drying it so that I can continue to layer it. Elmo? Elmo's red, Charlotte. What about Lucky? That's the only name I could come up with. So I'm just drying him off, because now we need to make his face. Ooh. Well, we have a beard, <laughs> and his beard is white. What color should, should we make it gray? We'll make his beard gray. Green mo? <laughs> Charlotte, you are so funny. All right, so we have two pieces left of our cute little guy. Oh, no, we have three pieces left. We got it. I got to look at the numbers. Okay, so this is number three. Next, we make his beard. His beard is going to have to be gray because obviously it's a white chalkboard. Okay, this guy is going to be so cute. What I find with him is while the registration marks are nice, you don't really need them. Because he really lines up very nicely to where he belongs. Okay, so we have a gray beard. We need, we're just going to go light gray. So we're going to use grayish. Oh, an orange beard because he's Irish. Amanda isn't orange like Northern Ireland and that competes with the green and then that's bad. I don't know my Irish very well. But that would be interesting. He'd Because he'd look like the flag then. What do you guys think? Should his beard be orange or should it be gray? I'm going to just, while you're thinking about it, I'm going to just put my paste covers over. I think we got to go gray. I don't know. What do you guys think? Get rid of these guys. We're done with peachy keen. I can put that away. LOL, I don't know. Because isn't that what they say? Like in Northern Ireland, they wear orange. I mean, it is the colors of the flag, though. Pink would be hilarious. Charlotte! <laughs> Cheryl says gray. 
Charlotte, you are so darn funny, man. Okay, wait, I just had the lid for this. I'm losing it. I just had the lid in my hand. Okay, well, we're just going to set them aside. We're making it gray. Hot mess gray and orange, Charlotte says. Terry says gray. All right, I'm going gray. I think we... Oh, there's my lid. I think I got to go. This also just made his eyes gray, so the, I might regret that. We might have to go over his eyes with a different color. Because I think that's supposed to be the whites of his eyes. And I just made them gray. Because then the next piece gives him his, like, black pupils. So he's going to look kind of funny. So I'm not going to put this in the water bath because I think we're going to need it. Oh, okay. Let me dry him so you can see him. Okay. Yeah, we might have to go over his eyes because I made him gray. So he kind of looks a little creepy right now. All right, so this is what we have so far. He's adorable. Okay, so now this is what gives him eyebrows, his eyes, the pupils of his eyes. I think we got to do this in black. This is eyeballs. We'll give him, we'll give him gray eyebrows. And we're going to give him black pupils. Okay. Oops, I did a cardinal rule. I did not open up my chalk paste and stir it. Blue eyes. Oh my goodness, we can't give the poor guy blue eyes, can we? At the moment, he is gray. I'll show you. This will make more sense now that he's got his pupils. Okay, I didn't do a great job of lining that up, but he's adorable. Okay, he is cute. You can't really see the gray around his eyes that much. Okay, so now he has his face. And the last piece that he gets is his little nose, his nomi nose, and like, I think they're like whiskers. I'm not sure what they are, but I don't know if he needs them. And I did this, we did this the last time with Valentino. I wasn't going to give him his nose, and then we ended up giving it to him, and it looked really cute once he had his nose. But Valentino, we made his nose pink because, you know, he was, a no he was Valentine's Day. I don't know what color we would make this guy. What do you think? What color should we make his nose? And I think, well, actually, we could do pink. We'll do pink again. I think we did peony last time. We'll make his, we'll give him, you know, little rosy cheeks and a pink nose. If we don't like it, we'll wash it off. Ooh, this is very bubblegum pink. This is peony, super bubble gummy. I am really loving the light green shirt. It's really popped now that you've done all the other details. Oh, okay, I don't like his pink nose. Look at how bright his, he looks like a clown now. Try to get you a good angle with lighting. Do you think he kind of looks like a clown? See if, let it dry and get it a little more dull. What do you think? Too bright, right? He's done. So we've got we've done all of his pieces with the exception now of we need to do his um, wash off my registration marks. We need to do his pot of gold, and then we're gonna do leprechaun wishes, and he's all done. Um, I don't know. I don't like his nose. It looks like a clown nose to me. So maybe we'll go back over it and make his nose peachy keen. That will give it the dimension because it's the double layers of chalk. Um, but yeah, I don't like I don't like the nose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm wiping off. We need the black. We still we still need black. I need to wash off his nose piece. It's just gonna be here somewhere in my water bath. There it is. So one day this week still we'll make the, um, he just, 
<laughs> Linda, Linda. <laughs> he had too much Irish whiskey. That's funny, Linda, Linda. Okay, that's really funny. Okay, so I'm just drying off his nose. If we just, I, it's too pink, right, Kathy? Yeah, Kathy agrees. It's too pink. So we're either gonna just do his redo his just his nose in peachy keen. We're gonna give that a second to dry, or um, we'll do uh, cherry blossom, which is a super pale, pale pink. Okay, so now we have our pot of gold, which I want to stick over here in our little shamrock bed. So I'm only using the pot of gold, and it's not a whole pot. So I need to give it the appearance of sitting in the shamrocks. So I might need to do a few more shamrocks. And again, this guy is sticky. Holy cow. So I'm just fuzzing him right on my sweatshirt. So you can use a fuzzing towel, which mine at the moment has chalk all over it, so I'm not moving all my chalk. Um, you can use your t-shirt, your blue jeans, So I think we need to do some more shamrocks. Maybe not. All right, we're just gonna put him down in here and see. Give him his little pot of gold. And if nothing else, we'll add the shamrocks after the fact. Okay, so we need black and gold. Again, I'm going to start with my gold because my gold is more liquefied. And I'm just going to do the pot of gold part. So does everybody else's kids don't have school again tomorrow? I swear my kids don't go to school anymore. We have another day off tomorrow. It's crazy. They're off of school so much lately. So we used to have an early release day and they used to get out every single Thursday an hour early. And they got rid of it this year, and instead, they get one day off a month on top of all their normal days off. So now, it's like they are home all the time. Oh, look at that. Hello, mister. Hello. How was work? Good. That's good. What do you need? Nothing. Okay, come say hi to everybody then. Show them your cute little uniform. I don't have a cute little, my cute little uniform. <laughs> Joe's home from work. Everybody say hi, Joe. Hello. We're making it. Look at the, oh, look at the cute little leprechaun we're making. That's pretty cute. Look at his pink nose, though. Don't you think we need to change the color of his pink nose? Maybe, yeah. Make it red. Oh, this is so cute. Make it red? This isn't work. I know. I'm I'm not done yet. Red? He can't have a red nose. He'll, please don't push on the back of my chair. You're making me sink. Um, then he'll really look like a clown. <laughs> okay, so I'm just drying it. So we need to fix his little, we either need to put more shamrocks around him to hide his little pot of gold some more, or we need to figure out a way to add more black to his little pot of gold. And I think we can just keep making it bigger by just bringing it down. We're going to try this. It's not going to work. Bye, Joe. I get you want to love you, Joe. Let me explain so why. glad Can you're I here, Joe. Why? Goodbye, Joe. Please, I love you. Love. I don't want you to mess up, man. <laughs> Talk. All right. Well, the reason it's not is because it's the same curve every single time. So you're just I know, like a, like but it's going to be time. better than nothing. I knew that already. But thank you, Joe. Good uh, night, Joe. I'm not going to bed, but I love you. Okay, I love you, Joe. Hi, Charlotte. <laughs> I can see her thing. Verge isn't here. Verge is on a cruise. <gasps> I know. So what he's talking about is because the pot is curved, it's going to continue to curve down. But it's going to be better than that. Right. So then I'm just going to go and add a little more to give it the... I could do it with a paintbrush too. So it's better. It looks more now like he's sitting in the... It's not perfect. But it's better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a paintbrush and just kind of fill it in, which you can totally do. And then I could fill in more shamrocks if I wanted to. So 
So what I'm going to do is, because it's such a harsh line down here, is I'm just going to kind of curve it so that it looks more like an actual pot versus just a flat line. So I'm just sticking a paintbrush right in my paint. The problem that I have with when you do it with a paintbrush is you don't get the smoothness of the silk screen. It looks choppy to me when you do it this way. Um, but that's okay. Because he's kind of stuck in the shamrock, so. So I'm just going around, making it more rounded and less straight lined. So there we go. Now he looks like a pot in the. Okay, so washing off my paintbrush. Joseph is my creative child. He's always been super creative. All right, so I'm gonna dry it. And then I'll show it to you. It's a little thicker because again, I did it with a paintbrush, so I'm just giving it a little more. And we totally have to fix his nose. So now I have my pot, and we have a very pink nose. It's gotta go. So, got my little nose guy. I think we'll, we'll leave his little rosy cheeks, but I am going to cover up his nose. So all you do is put the transfer back down. We're just going to go right over it with Peachy Keen. I do not like the pink nose. So this will give him his nose, but it won't be so bright. Had I laid it down right. Now he's got he's got a pink shadow on his nose. So that's cool. It gives him a little shadowing. Alright, so here's our cute little leprechaun with his cute little pot of gold. And last but not least, we are going to stick up here. Leprechaun wishes. Let's see how far down we can get it. Ooh, so sticky. So again, I'm just sticking it right on my, my uh, sweatshirt to pull up the lint because my lint rake has truck all over it. Okay, so we're going to stick them down. Pull them up a little. Like so. And we're back to color choices. Leprechaun wishes should be what color? Chuck. Getting rid of chalk. Got chalk everywhere. Alright, so Leprechaun wishes is not straight. So I'm gonna fix that. Ooh, he is stuck on. Yeah, it's kind of that double-edged sword. Sticky or not sticky. When they're super sticky, you have to be worried about them pulling up the chalk case that's underneath them. When they're not sticky enough, you got to worry about them um, not sticking. So I'm going to stick this underneath here so that it doesn't stick to my latticed hat and take that off. All right, so... Leprechaun wishes. I think we'll do leprechaun in green and wishes in gold. What do you think? Cheryl says gold. Do the whole thing in gold, Cheryl, or just two-tone it? Should we do one color or two? That's the big question. Well, you guys are, I'm just going to clean up chalk because there's a huge delay from what I say it to when you hear it. I'm just cleaning up squeegees. Much easier to clean up your squeegees when your squeegees are wet. And when your squeegees, the chalk paste is dry, because it dries hard. So it just takes a little more effort to get your squeegees clean when you let your chalk paste dry on them. If you wipe them off right away, it's much easier. Okay, and I do like Citrus Splash. It's a very fun color for the spring. It's one of the new... Amanda says green and gold. Cheryl says green and gold. Okay, we're going green and gold. So we'll do Leprechaun and green and Wishes and gold. So I take my green and gold. Okay, thanks guys.
take my green right across I should have done my gold first because my gold is more liquefied but that's all right And now I'm just going to wipe off my squeegee right away and do my gold. So the shimmer paste, which is what this gold is, it has a shimmer to it. Um, they're a little more gritty. So they, they don't glide because they actually have like the, it's not glitter, but it's a super, well, I guess it is kind of a super, super fine glitter that gives them their shimmer. So you just kind of got to push it through your silk screen. Okay, let me take this off carefully and just stick it in probably too close to his hat. Stick it in my water bath. Ooh, he is sticky. Okay, I'm going to dry it. All right. Oh my gosh. He's just as cute as Valentino. So I'm just drying it. Once it's dry, you'll be able to see the shimmer better. Just takes a second. Okay, this is adorable. Our little leprechaun uh, wishes guy is so cute. What do you guys think? Is he adorable? I really like the citrus. I didn't think I was gonna like this color, but I'm kind of totally digging it now. It's a fun color. I like the brightness to it. I think it's gonna make some really fun um, flowers for spring, green parts, things like that. It's a lot of. There's a lot of pretty green colors. Okay, so that's it. That's our whole little project for the evening. This is how we took our garden gnome and turned him into a leprechaun. We will eventually make him as a garden gnome. <laughs> Maybe someday we will. Um, we could put shamrocks around too. We could put, should we put some more shamrocks on it? You know, once I get started, then I don't want to stop. Because it's fun, right? And then the next thing you know, you have shamrocks everywhere. We could throw some shamrocks. What do you think? Should we throw some shamrocks around? Like maybe do a little shamrock guy right here. Just to kind of finish him off. What do you think, shamrock? I need like a grouping of little shamrocks. Just a few little guys. See, this is the problem. It's like when I start power washing and then I can't stop power washing because power washing is so much fun. When you start doing something and it's fun, then you don't want to stop. I don't have any more cute little groupings of. I wonder why my little sheep one with all my little shamrocks on it. Oh, it's right next to me. So we could put a couple, like three little shamrocks. Maybe up over here. Too. Or should, it, should I walk away? Maria, walk away from the chalk or balance them out? Linda, Linda says sure. Right. A few under wishes would be okay. All right. And of course, I cleaned everything up. Of course, I did. So we'll do a little more green. That's the problem. Like, you shouldn't. Clean everything up until you really know you're all done. We're just going to try one and see how one looks. Debbie says she thinks it needs a few. Okay. Okay, he just gets sweeter and sweeter. We could kind of stick one behind his back like he's holding it. We kind of did that with the balloon. Um, just stick a few more, right? What do we have to lose, right? We can wash them off. We don't like them. If we go, too, if I go crazy and we have too many, we just wash them off. It's a lot of paste. 
Wait, my first spinning needle. Let me squeegeeing all my excess off. Giving him a few. Well, up. No, see, now he's unbalanced. Should have stopped. Now we need a few more. Because <laughs> I started. This is what happens. You started, and then the next thing you know, gotta dry that. You have little shamrocks everywhere. Or actually, these aren't shamrocks, are they? Ha! They're four leaf clovers. Not shamrocks, it's a four leaf clover. This has water on it. Now I got my shamrock wet. I should stop calling them shamrocks because they're four leaf clovers. Walk away from the shamrocks, Maria. I don't know. Maybe I should stop. Or should I wash this one off? Should I wash this one off? Or leave it there? Should do things in odd numbers. My sister tells me that all the time. How to do things in odd numbers. I want to add one down here. Because he totally needs one down here. There we go. That fixed that knot. Okay. We're just going to put one here and see what we're going to see what we think. See, that paste wasn't dry. I knew that paste wasn't dry. When your paste isn't dry, it takes your paste off. So now I'm going to have to fix him. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to stop. I'm going to fix this one, and we're going to stop. Make sure they're dry before you put your new transfer down. I'm going to stick this one right back over it and go back over it. And fill in. Um, the hole I made. So when you go to chalk and your chalk isn't dry and you put your transfer down, when you pull your transfer off, it takes the chalk with it. So you have to make sure they're dry. fixed. I'm going to put them in the water bed. Okay, what do you think? Stop, right? Right? Stop. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's our cute little adorable little leprechaun guy. I'm walking away. I'm closing up the chalk. So, this is the guard, or his name is Gnome. He is retired. He is the Make It Monday bundle, which is in the Making Maria VIP group. If you're not in the Making Maria VIP group, you can't see it. So you got to be in the group. How do you get in the group? Very simple. You either comment add me or you go to your search bar and you type in Making Maria VIP Group and you request to join. That's how you get in that group. If you can please do this, it helps me tremendously when you do that. So thank you, thank you to everybody who takes the time to do that. Um, if you want to see any of these amazing Chalk Couture products, you can go to www.chalkcouture.com slash Making Maria. Um, unfortunately, you will not find this transfer hit there, but you will you will find the vintage truck add-on um, for spring, which is the add-on that we're going to use this week to put our little leprechaun guy in the back of the truck, falling out of the truck, which is going to be tons of fun. Um, if you're interested in all, we still have the special going on this month for the Club Couture transfer. Club, or Club Couture. Club Couture is a monthly subscription service where for $19.99 a month, we send you a transfer, a B-size transfer, and three paste packets so that you can have a little bit of creativity every single month uh, delivered right to your door for $19.99. And if you're curious at all about what it means to be a Chalk Couture independent designer so that you can have as much fun as I'm having, um, just message me directly and I'd be more than happy to give you that information. All right, I'm stopping. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay, this guy's cute. This is our cute little leprechaun. So he's going to go next to our funny little sign that we made yesterday that says welcome and we're going to just keep going this week with a few more. Um, we have our vintage truck leprechaun and then we have um, the Irish blessing and then I think we're gonna stop with St. Patrick's Day because it's really not that far away it's almost here so if you anybody has any intention of uh, um, chalking for St. Patrick's Day you should probably get to it thanks so much for watching me 
I very much appreciate you. Have a super, super fantastic Tuesday, and I will be back at you tomorrow night at 9 o'clock Central Time. Thanks, guys. See ya.